Well, here we are, folks. What's up, We homies? are no longer as perfect as we once were. Except... In the minds of your eye. I would argue that I'm even more perfect. I don't see how that works. Um, oh, let's do this. Hold on, before you start, oh. uh, Fraser just handed me a, van a manila envelope here. A manila envelope? Yeah. Well, what is in it? What's in the envelope, Gerard? Surely if he hands it to you, you're going to open it and read it. Should I read it? I would love. Do you want me to read it? Yeah. I don't know if you want me to. I do. I would like you to read it. I don't know. Please read it. No, I'm not going to do it. Why not? Because you... I don't know. I'm afraid. What do you mean? What if What if in there is the worst news we've had the whole time? You know what? I have a pretty good idea about what's going to be in there, and I think it's going to be great. Okay. All right. I'm opening it. Okay. Yeah. It's just to inform us officially that we are still cops. Right. I knew that. Okay. All great. right. Just wanted to make right. sure. Sweet. Awesome. I also, I also ru ruined that bit because I said manila envelope. I meant to say manila folder. Sorry. Manila envelopes? Those are things, right? I don't think so. Yeah, like... A manila envelope? So you know the ones where you you like pinch the thing and yeah, then yeah yeah okay okay so I was okay all right fuck me let's go you, ahead and do this remember I'm a new soul living <laughs> in this strange world <laughs> la 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 alias la. Fontaine works self oh, okay so there's this dude this like murderer medic I'm in a jam doctor yeah he is the murderer cool. medic medic no. rhetoric. That's okay. Do I have your professional confidence? Whatever you say will never this be. This dude is sh like the shadiest dude ever. It's true. I talked some of the guys in my old unit into doing something, and it's gone wrong. I guess I did it for the wrong reason for short term gain. Well, what is it? We came home from China on the Cool Bridge. Morphine. The morphine robbery. That was us. I thought I could get the guys a fair share. Some sort of benefit for the sacrifices that they made in the war. He's gonna kill him. Those guys deserve it, Doctor. Oh, I'm sure they do, Courtney. But the deserving aren't always rewarded. It's gonna like shoot him in the head. Tell me about it, Doc. Like we shifted our stuff onto this mob-connected guy, and it's been turning up all over town. It wasn't meant to be like this. The presumption was rather naive, Courtney. I know that now, Doctor. But people are dying. Hmm. Might I venture a few questions? Sure. Do your underworld contacts have all the morphine? No, they don't. We doled it out, hoping we could control it. Are they pressing you? This is like the most plot we've ever gotten. That's the polite way of putting it, Doctor. I may be able to help you, Courtney. Thanks, Doc. It helps just to talk about it. Oh, no. I mean, I have a solution that will help you financially and salve your conscience. I'm all ears, Doctor. I will transact to take all the narcotic off your hands. Rest assured that it will all be medically administered. I will use the funds that I no longer require for the purchase of medication and invest them. Okay. In housing developments. Housing? The developments in question are housing projects for former servicemen. This is your shady. There's like a real estate angle. From the sale of the properties. And your investment will benefit those that you care for most. Does this arrangement meet with your approval? You're a magician, doctor. Ugh. What if they kissed? <laughs> oh, it was weirder what they actually did. Yeah. That was really bizarre. Yeah. All right. Now, but before we continue, uh, I didn't really talk about uh, our facts we had from the last episode. Oh, right, right. Yeah, let's talk um, about that. So here's some fun trivia. Obviously, the case uh, name Reefer Madness refers to the 1936 film Reefer Madness. Right. The plot of the film revolves around the events that take place after high school students are pushed into using marijuana. Right. Now, there was a uh, original musical and movie called Reefer Madness that was released later on. Right. I feel like Kristen. Matt Pat's a big fan of that. Oh, absolutely. Kristen Bell starred in it. It was one of the best movies I've ever seen. Yeah. Um, here's a little oddity. 
There were two enemies who fired at Cole with a Thompson M1 at Juan Garcia Cruz's residence. But you, when you actually investigate the bodies, one of the Thompsons is replaced with the longer barrel. It actually ends up being an unusable uh, 38 detective revolver. Okay. So they just for some weird reason, they changed the guns. Um, the cop that tells you at the factory, um, that talks to you at the factory, he, on his badge, is a 1247. Okay. With, that's the same badge number as, as Phelps when he was uh, oh, yeah. uh, as starting out as a cop. That's still his badge number. Yeah. It's weird. Um, Cole makes a reference to Confidential Magazine. However, the first issue wasn't released until five years after the events of L.A. Noir. 1952. Yeah. Um, let's see here. What else can I got here? Um, although going from Cruz's residency directly to the 20th century market will cause Phelps to skip the daytime visit to the Parnell Soup and the interview with Sergio and thus not collect Sergio's dollar. Nonetheless, after the Ray Raid, Ray Pinker will still have all $5 for the puzzle. But I got it. Yeah, we did get all five, didn't we? Yeah. Yeah. What are we waiting for? That's basically, I'm listening to trivia. That's basically it. Okay. The rest is just like, there's one more, but it's like not really trivia. It's just if you leave uh, the metals house or the metals place during the gunfight, you can free room with the gun. I see. That's about it. Cool. I'm going to start. Yo, go for it. Okay. I got to find his locker. Here it is. Here we go. Oh, what is this? There's a phone number we can run by R and I. Plus a bunch of names and odds. You're not the only one who likes a flutter, Roy. Okay, Roy. Looks like we're about to put your whole lifestyle on blast, bro. This is not connected. Okay. Zelda, Zelda chime, baby. We done, boys. All right, I'm going to call it in. Why am I doing police work you like... Find that cocksucker and you bring him to me. What? I feel bad too, oh, my man. God. He guaranteed me he would take the flop. I guarantee that you will be fish food if you don't bring me... Roy, you out of pocket, too? Mickey, seems that way. God, about it. just flagrantly you crooked. Well, you'd better call them off. This is a police matter now. If anything happens to Hammond, I'll testify that you made threats against him. Who's the Greyhound? He's a frisky one, isn't he? Cole Phelps. Mickey Cohen. I know who he is, Roy. I oh my god. Brother in law. <coughs> oh, get fucked. We're coming for you. I don't talk to fucking criminals. <laughs> Good. Get fucked. Fucking scared of us, dudes. Be scared. Look at my suit. Run from us. We're does it terrifying. Look like I does it look like I care about your feelings? I'm making a phone call. Get out of well, here. Me what is on my goddamn tie? Show me my tie again. Oh, what a good tie. There's a little bananas. Felt it's like little Paisley boys. Felt. Question of the day. What's on the tie? I think it's Paisley. I think it's a banana. I need an address for the Several bananas or corn. AL345. Is that a phone number? AL345? I don't know. Weird. All right. We've got an address, Mother Huffers. Mother Huffers. We've got an address, Mother Huffers. Good. Flophouse? Sounds pretty shady. Hotel El Mar. Let's do it. Flophouse Hotel. Let us investigate. Remember that episode of Breaking Bad where Hank brings uh, Walt Jr. to like that shitty motel? To show him how bad it is. A hint of reprimand in your tone, detective? Yeah. That was like one of those first seasons, right? Yeah. You should try out Mickey's place. He's got a haberdasher's up on Sunset. See if he can get you out of those old man's clothes that you slink around in. Don't you fucking it's dare talk about my fashion. <laughs> Don't you fucking... How, Roy is officially my least favorite partner now. At least Finbar was like... Okay with you, I'll stick with like a cop. This guy just oh, is was like... Was he, though? Dude, yes. He wasn't like a crooked... Can we just both agree they were both horrible? They were horrible, but at least he's not a fucking crooked piece of I shit like this our, guy. Our, our, our cop from the beginning didn't come with us. Dude, he was the best one. Where... Is this it? 
feel like that's where it is. It usually cut scenes. Right? I'm just gonna walk up to it and go inside and maybe that'll be enough. Yeah, okay. Hot water. Can you imagine, like, that's like an advertising point? The water here is actually hot. <laughs> you can actually take a shower we have hot water. in this establishment. Yeah, what do you want? LAPD. We're making inquiries into the whereabouts of an Albert Hammond. Albert Hammond from The Strokes? You sure? Sure, I'm sure. This isn't the sort of place where people use their real names. Take a look at the register if you don't believe me. It's gonna be like Mickey Mouse and shit. Let's take a look. I wish I had a ledger like this. <laughs> Veronica Lake. Fucking Ellie Confidential. Jimmy Casney, Hedy Lamar, Joan Caulfield, Glenn Ford, Orson Welles, Ava Gardner. Hilarious. Hey, Danny Kay. Lana Turner, Bob Hope. Winston Churchill? Yeah. Pud Abbott and Lucas Dello next to each other. Oh, it's one room. Burt Lancaster, Lionel Barrymore, Deborah Kerr. Bing Crosby, Gregory Peck. Is there something that I can, like, find? I don't know. It's all just, like, fake names. Open it back up. There's got to be something that stands out. L, press L to select. So we're looking for what's their name? We're looking for. Bookmakers' odds. All we have is the odds, people. Albert Hammond is who we're looking for, right? Yeah. So let's see. Who's Albert Hammond? Just he's a professional boxer and he's British. Churchill. So, yeah, that's what I was going to say. Maybe Churchill might be the answer. Winston Churchill. A very patriotic Englishman is staying in room 207. The old bulldog. Even at a flop house, Adley can't get out from his shadow. <laughs> 207. Tight. Let's do it. Let's do it. Let's do it. Right at the top of the stairs, no problem. Nobody's home. Looks oh, like it's time for me to though. do some stuff. Yeah, look, Lady Sigs. Ah. Okay. Apparently it's not enough for a, as a clue, though. Whoa. Whoa. What's this? Same thing? Looks like Albert has been doing some homework. He's trying to figure out how much money he was going to make. Okay. That's the, that's the, what was it called? The bookmaker's payout? Instaheat. Adrian Black's product of choice. Seems like a lifetime ago. Oh my god, the Instaheat. Uh, the like, when I put together the, the heater, remember? Yeah. What am I looking at here? Candy Edwards. Look at, she put her address. What a fool. Taste. Oh, oh candy, sweet candy. Who's candy. Please be mine. The lady who fell down my darling dear. What do we got here? Okay, what do we got here? What is this? God, just get it. Get in there. I guess a fighter has plenty of time. Movie ticket stub? Okay, so he went to the movies. Outward have somebody special. I didn't see anyone in his corner at the fight. Chocolate boys. Oh, uh, can you check the trash can? Yeah, let me let me see. All right, let's go after his girl. See if that gets us any closer. Western Union. Yo, Elvira. You know I hope he makes it. Home soon. Yeah, your you boy done, done good. good, Albert. <clears throat> Hilarious. Zelda is good. Hell yeah. All right. Let's get the fuck out of here. Let's go to that other address. All right. Let's go after his girl. Who's this shady motherfucker? Dude, you can't just interrogate people. Whoa. 
<laughs> All I'm saying is he's just being super shady in the he hall. He just was like, you're a copper, copper. All right, get, get, all right, get. All right, so where, where do you think we should go? To the, just to the address, right? I'd say let's go to Candy's. Hammond is over the hill. He's a punching bag it. for the up-and-comers. She knows goddamn place. I think he knows. I think he works Maxwell's I guess he should know. I guess I should have known. <laughs> oh. Winston Churchill. Hey, uh, okay, you, hey, whatever it is. We got a bus. Bus uh, bench got hit by some kind of car. Suspects are still at large. We're not sure who did it. We saw it when we were on patrol. Standard training. I can't imagine you ever played dirty. The only prize for taking a fall was a thousand push-ups. Get out of the street, sir. God, it's so hard to drive. Like, I want to get to the place quickly. You know what I mean? But mm -hmm. like, it's like hard to drive quickly and not crash. All right, the Aleve Motel, named after one of my favorite medicines. When I have a headache, it's time for Aleve. It's time for Aleve. Hashtag spawn. Just kidding. The American Century <laughs> that was a weird shot. We need to know which room is Candy's. Okay. Can I help you, gentlemen? LAPD, ma'am. We're looking for Candy Edwards. Apartment 7. You take the outside stairs by the parking lot and turn left at the top. Thank you, ma'am. You friends of the Italian guy. What Italian guy? Italian guy? Yeah. Sleazy type. Oh, Carlo. His name is Carlo. We got him. I didn't like the look of him, but Candy has some funny friends. You want to be a cop? You want to come work at the police station? She is the best she's witness the we've had the entire helpful, game. Not elusive. Just like gives you everything also you need. Also just like, we saw someone shady here. I feel like you should know his name. Yeah. His name's Carlo. Oh shit. Yeah, shit's going down in here. Get f Oh! Are you kidding me? Like hitting Go. God. Go. This isn't gonna end yes. well for you, friend. Go. Yes, yes. Come on. <laughs> Keep it again. He responds he he responds like moments after. Don't Oh! Oh shit! Get up, bro. You knocked him out. Oh, I'm just now that he's knocked out. I'm just looking check, around. Oh, check out his body. Cold, but breathing. All right. For a minute, and take a look around. What do we got? <laughs> what is this? Here seems to have the same friends as Hammond. What are the odds on them all being bookmakers? Bookies? List of bookies? Okay. Okay. What about over here? This motherfucker's got a knife. It's fucking. What if Phelps just like shoves into his neck right now? Just like. Ah! Some mob shit. He just wakes up. Should I touch his face a little? Can you touch his nose? Just a little touch? No, you can't do it. You think that's it? I guess so. I'll check his wrists. Oh, nope. Just gonna uh, reach back into his passport right there. Just in case, I'll just check his wrist. Just in case. And nothing attached on that one. Okay. Just gonna check his other wrist here. Check the other. Checking the other wrist. Check the other wrist. The other. That's the mother, Rick. Okay. Get out of the way. What's this? Huh. Okay, so what do we got here? A coach to Akron? One way. I guess there isn't a lot for Albert in Ohio. Okay. And a Cunard Line cruise ship? Cunard Ascania. Sales from New York. Huh. Maybe that's how she got here. Got it. Oh damn. Take a seat, Miss Edwards. We have some questions. Stay on the floor until we find the evidence. Look, I haven't done anything wrong. Ever? I find that pretty hard <laughs> to believe. Tim. Roy. Can Chill, you dude. some questions now, Miss Edwards? Sure, I've had worse. I'll shake it off. Damn. Jesus. All right. You're badass. Whereabouts of Hammond? You're badass. All right. Where, Where did is... that cigarette come from? Yeah, I don't know. She lit that shit fast. All right. 
Where's Hammond? Trying to track down Albert Hammond. We have reason to believe he. Albert Hammond. Danger. All right. Do you know where he is? No, I don't. I'm over Albert. I haven't seen him. You haven't seen him. All right. Well, you look extremely, Whoa. extremely untrustworthy. Well, first off, what? you have seen him, Missy, because you fucking filled out a coupon. Yeah, and the that's fucking, how we found you. The fucking magazine coupon. Yeah. All right. You dummy. So I'm gonna call her a liar. You're a liar. I'm gonna call her a liar. Yeah. On You're lying, Candy. You were in his hotel room. He came back after the fight, and you weren't there. What happened? You can't prove that I was in the room. Dude, yes, we can. I don't just say yes, shit. Yes, we can. I don't just it's say shit. because you are I dumb. <coughs> you wrote your name and address on a coupon. Look, Albert was supposed to take a fall. We were all supposed to make a little money out of it. But Albert got too goddamn stubborn. Said his pride was all he had left. So I told him, shove it. Let's see his pride keep him warm at night. So you walked out before the fight. Yes, I did. What's the problem? I didn't take anything. Huh. List of odds recovered. Mervin or Ray mean anything to you? Could be anybody. How the hell would I know? Are you lying? Are you are so... Look at this. Oh, my, oh my God. God. I'm going to just doubt her, I think. No. She's what? lying. What? Look at that face. Well, what? Look what? at that face. We have the bookie payouts. It was on the nightstand. You think I should just... This? Yeah. Or this? The pay the, the this the the one no the the other one this yeah this is just numbers oh no what was the this this one Harry no, Mervin no, the Rand. other one the this isn't the one that has like all the names that's this one right here this is the one the bookmaker's odds we found no we found that one at, no just do that one because it was in the because it was in the apartment yes. I'm not feeling this. Are you sure? Yeah. I mean, what? Uh, look. <clears throat> All right. Pull, pull up the log. Pull up the log. Let's 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 talk this out. Okay. Pull up the log. Oh, the log. The log. Do the names Harry, Marvin, or Ray mean anything to you? Could be anybody. How would I know? Because she said we were all supposed to take a little. Right. Okay. All right. Fuck. All right. Look, it's uh, a yeah, stretch, yeah. but yeah. it's the... All right, let's do it. Tell me the truth. How the hell would I know? Oh, my God. Okay, this one. It's the payouts. Yeah, all right, let's do it. Albert wrote his winnings down on a notepad in the hotel room. We found the odds in his locker. Who has the betting slips? That son of a bitch, Albert. Everyone thought he was dumb, including me. But he beat them all. Plans to leave town. All right. Leaving town, Miss Edwards? Yes, I'm going straight home. Straight home. You are not going home. <laughs> Hold on a second. Chris, do me a favor. I want you to freeze frame when I tell you to. Like right on her face. Like right about there. Okay. <laughs> now get a picture of Todd from Rated S Games and put it side by side. The one that does the exact same thing. Todd, I love you, man. This girl's stealing your style. We're going to doubt that. We're going to doubt that. I doubt that you are as cool as Todd. I severely doubt that as well. Todd is going home by boat as soon as he collects his winnings. I know you're going to meet him. Halbert is going to collect nothing. He'll be lucky if he can get out of town in one piece. How will you fare any better? They already believe you're in on it. Hell, I know you're in on it. You can think what you want, Buster. I'll take my chances. I got a few Why? to run and then I say adios to this dump. We're clearly on to this case. By the way, are there you weed on those curtains? Holy curtains? shit, we got it right. Just Damn right. Are there weed on those curtains? Get out, Carlo, you hump. And get rid of that pig sticker. You ever pull that thing on me, I'll shoot you like a dog. That bitch knows where Hammond is. She knows where my money's gone. My money too, tough guy. I'll handle this. What are you going to do, Roy? I hope things work out for you. Thank you. It's very kind of you to say so. Bad people are looking to hurt Candy, and yet she's not heading straight for the train station. He's still I in town. Pay off. I say stake her out. See where she goes. Oh, we're going to tail her ass, aren't we? All right. Let's do it. You could have parked somewhere a little bit less conspicuous. Maybe get rid of your hat, change your suit. You have several suits. I'll change my suit anytime you want. Right. Oh, man. Oh, we're on foot? This is the worst kind of mission. Remain hidden in plain sight by going incognito. 
How do I go incognito? Am I not? You are right now. All right, and go. I, I don't know how to get up. There you go. Circles to hold the focus of her. Yo, you gotta chill. You gotta chill. You gotta chill. You, you gotta sprint. chill. I'm on top of this. Look, she's fucking speed walking now because she knows you're tailing her. Nah, she's speed walking because she's fucking committing a fucking crime, dude. Are you kidding me? <laughs> you got caught. I hate stuff like this. You want me to do it? No. I just like this. When, when has this ever been fun? Like when has like a mission like this ever been fun in a game? Tail is broad. Don't let her get away, but don't get spotted. I'll bring up the car. Uh, yeah. All right. Get. Oh my god. All right. So how far away can she get? Because I'm like worried that if I lose sight of her, like I'm gonna get in trouble. Uh 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 uh. uh. Uh, 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 Alright. I'm just gonna, like, chill. I'm just gonna, like, not even fucking bother. Okay, so now I'm gonna go just because she's literally getting out of my sight. Is there, like, a button? You press circle, what happens? It just focuses on her. So, alright. So, I'm gonna just well, get... You don't have to run. Well, if, I just... We I don't wanna her. lose her. I don't think you will. I think if you like hide behind something, we don't cover, you know, just uh. Because I feel like whenever you cover, she looks behind, you know what I mean? I'm only covering because she's looking behind. Like this, like I'm not worried. Like right now, I can see her, you know what I mean? I'm still on her. Right. Like if I go here. And I go like this. I can still see her. I'll just keep an eye on her. Hey, you're pretty far away, though. Slack. Gotta get closer. I don't think you need to run. It just wants me to go from, like, cover to cover. I think you can just casually walk. Well, right, but she's walking a little bit faster than I am. Dude, you should change your name, dude. What do you mean? You should be the tobacconist. <laughs> <laughs> Alright. I'm gonna just go up to this corner. Ooh, I wish I could afford that. Where'd she go? She's right there, stop. See her. Holy shit! Okay, move. Oh no! Oh, you gotta, you gotta run after her now. You yep. can't see her. Fuck! She's gonna be right here. Fuck. Haberdashery. Got her. Why wouldn't I just do this in a car? Because he took the car. But, like, what I'm saying is, like... Oh, she's going into the house. Yeah. <laughs> that fucking Scooby-Doo-ass sneak. I know, right? Should I, like, break for this fence? I can't really... I can't tell if she's going to be able to see me or not. I like. I'm not gonna lose her, dude. Too much 
much slack. I get closer. Get up. Get up. What are you honking at me for, you dumbass? Okay. Oh, god damn it. Dude, oh how long gosh. is this? Wait for it. <gasps> Go. Go. How long is this segment, dude? I feel like we're almost there. Should I go? God go. Damn. She's like speed walking now. Go. Fuck. Go, 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 baby, go, baby, go, baby, go. Wall. Jesus Christ, where is she going? Right? Okay. Give me this. Can I stay here? Can I be behind these? Fuck. Go, baby. Is she gonna, like, dupe me? Thank Ooh. God. Oh, man. Actually, you know what? Question of the day, what's the best segment like that? My answer is Metal Gear Solid 4, but I don't really like these types of things. There's some in Assassin's Creed that, like, make me so mad all the time. After all that, she's just gonna see me? No. What the f- Where did yeah, you yeah, go? Yeah, yeah, exactly. Yes. Surprise, surprise. What? Why did we go in the car? Where am I going? In here? Where'd you go? In here? Oh, this is a butcher shop. This one. A blonde woman just came in here. She went out the back way. Said she was being watched. Oh That's my god. $3,600. She claimed me out. On the Hammond Kid Galahad fight? You got it. I'm not complaining. We all made a lot of money on that one. A huge plunge on Galahad, and then Hammond knocks the bum out. So she collected the money and went out through the back door. Nope. She made a phone call over there. Wrote something on a notepad. She did not have time to do all that. Notepad? What are you doing? An old intelligence I'm trick. Doing this thing. Examine. Examined. Examiner. Examiner drugstore. Okay, it's a place. But it has it has an address. Oh my god, this is so Ivar, 47 Ivar, Hollywood. I could drive here now in real life if I needed to. Like, let's just get through this. Get, oh my, <clears throat> oh my god. I, I know where, let me just go in a real car. You gotta, you and, gotta get all the address, dude. I have it. It's 47 Ivar. Right, but oh, Hollywood. 1487. You gotta fill up. There you go. I can't even go farther to the left than this. Is it, is there one there? Whatever. We know where she's Whatever, going. dude. All right, let's go. Zelda chime, we out. This is a crazy case. Very fast paced. Should we stop here? Um, before we go to the showdown. I don't know. Yeah. I say, I say we keep going. All right. We'll do a little longer one today. Not too much longer. Oh my god! What happened? Oh. Did, did you just? I just use pressed. I just pressed a button. That's okay. I didn't use an intuition point. The Examiner Drugstore and a Max Spirits at 1658 North Cherokee. KGPL clear. Hammond backed himself to win. Great. And Candy is picking up the winnings. Smart play. The question is, is Candy collecting on Albert's behalf or is she cheating him too? All right. Let's do this thing. This is pretty interesting, you know? I mean, this case is not I as... Feel, uh, I feel shady because I feel like I'm doing a mobster's dirty work. Yeah, I feel like... Uh, 
everyone we're like not really doing a real case you know what i mean yeah we're just like abusing our jobs basically well i feel like like we are on the job investigating but our partner is like he just wants his money yeah like i feel like when we go to call it in he's gonna be like no no man that's chinatown uh beer bros homework go watch chinatown did we already give that I, I like so. Confidential, I know we'd said, but go watch Chinatown. That movie is fucking awesome. Okay, I should turn off my siren if I'm going to make a stealthy approach. Examine a drugstore. <clears throat> All right, let's do this thing. I'm about to get a new suit, you guys. I'm really excited. That frame rate. All right. LAPD. Relax, Cole. You just have a blonde in here, Mervyn? Sure did. I'm just about to close up. She took me to the cleanest. 4,000 clams and... She's just collecting all the fucking... Wow. Maybe five minutes. Called the cab. Asked for a number. I told her there was a card over there by the phone. Ah, <sighs> Yellow cab. Yellow cab. We need to get after her fast. Okay. Okay. All right. Call it in. Let's do this thing. Operator, message for KGPL. Putting you through now. God bless you. Oh, no, I'm going to send you some flowers. What? Can you connect me to the yellow cab company? What? How much you want to bet we're going to have to tail the yellow cab? I really don't want to do that. This oh, boy. Phelps LAPD. You dispatched a cab to 1487 Ivar Avenue, Hollywood. What? Yes, sir. Send one round from the pool. <laughs> Do you have the number of that cab? Number 179. Thanks. Now we had to go find that cab? We're done playing around. Get Mervyn to give us an address on Ray's place. Okay. Any idea who Ray is? Sugar Ray. I love that band. Cole doesn't have much Mark morning. McGrath is one of the most underrated television hosts of all time. Yo, I don't know if you've been noticing that, but the phone's been ringing it off the hook yeah. in this. It's driving me crazy. He's a bookie. I know. All right, so. Let's hop in the car. Let's, well, let's call up. it here. Let's yeah. call it here. Next time on Beer Bros, we're going to... We're going to get to the bottom of this shit. We're going to get to the bottom of this shit. We're probably going to tail a cab. And I'm, I'm going to get a new suit. It. Are you? Most importantly, look at this. How did I do that? <clears throat> How did I do that? Go here. See that? Oh, the Hawkshaw outfit. Yeah. We're close, man. Look at that. If we're perfect, we'll get more. I'm ready. I am perfect. I'll never stop being perfect. I'll see you next time, guys. Next time. Bye. Watch Chinatown. Bye.